Good morning, friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and this is Rouse Rising. This morning, I dropped the kids off at school. I put them back in school recently. And you know that I homeschooled three out of four years, uh, three kids, and now they're back in public school. Um, for the time being and I dropped them off at school. Aaron's home with the little babies and one sick kid. Torsten's homesick. He was running a bit of a fever this morning and he's had some congestion. So not sure what's going on there, but he is home. I decided to run into town real quick because I needed some jars for some food storage. And we know that once summer hits, jars and canning supplies are really difficult to find. So if you need jars and canning supplies in summer and fall, then you want to get them now because you may not find them in a month or two. So I'm at what is called Coastal and Coastal is a farm store and at Coastal I can find all kinds of food preservation stuff. I'm also going to be looking for oxygen absorbers and mylar bags. I'm going to see if Coastal has these items. Um, I hope that they do and then I'm going to run to the grocery store and grab a bit of produce, do maybe a little bit of meal prepping. We need to get some food put up in jars and put on shelves and I've got to move bookshelves around so that I can make more room for food storage. So when you have a large family, we've got seven people in my family. My kids are ages almost 10 and under and so they eat a lot <laughs> and I need a lot of food. So that is why we are securing food and food storage items right now today, long-term food storage. I got a vacuum sealer for my jars, so I'm gonna give that a try and see how well that works. A lot of people vacuum seal their jars with oxygen absorbers in the jars, so I'm gonna attempt to do that. You put the oxygen absorber in and then the food on top, and then you vacuum seal it, and it's a little bit overkill, but for those of us that wanna set food aside on the shelves for a few years, it's a great option. You can always check your jars. You always want to check your food um, throughout the time that it's being stored. Make sure that it's still stored properly, but for those times that maybe the seal pops on those oxygen absorbed jars, then you can have the oxygen absorber in there to help preserve your food until you notice that the lid is poppy. So just some things to keep in mind, some things that are always going on in my head and that I figured I would share with you all so that you know, you're keeping these things in mind as well when you're storing your food. So let's run into Coastal and see what we can find here. And then um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Fred Meyers or Walmart, but I'm going to take you along with me. I have been admiring quite a few channels on YouTube that have these freeze drying machines in their homes, on their homesteads. And I got to tell you, I want one too. But we're not at a point in time that we are going to be preserving massive quantities of garden food. So I don't need to pay that price tag at the moment, but maybe once we settle down in our forever home, we will be able to have items like this. But for now, we're just keeping it simple around here. We're going to grow some food. We're going to can it. And then one day, maybe I'll get a freeze dryer. Here's the jars that I came in here for. So I've got to stay on track check out these prices. The jars seem to be more expensive than they have been in previous years. Thank you, inflation. $17.99. I remember when I could get those for $12 a case. And then over here, I am looking for those half gallon jars that are $22.99 a case, but I haven't found them yet. I'm just looking at their dehydrators checking out all of their food preservation items so that I can see what we might be able to add to our kitchen in the future. We do a lot of meat stuff because we hunt. And so, so far we haven't completely slaughtered or butchered our, our animals ourselves as far as butchering them out goes. We usually hire for that because I've done a leg um, of a deer before and I don't know what I'm doing and it was really intense. <laughs> it was intense trying to get all the meat off of that leg and make the cuts correct or the quarter. It wasn't just a leg. It was a whole quarter of a deer. So it's a good skill to have. Ooh, I found the oxygen absorbers. Stay on track, Katie. Stay on track. Talking about deer meat and preserving meat that we get, we do 
freeze it and I do can quite a bit of it. I still need to share the video where I canned up a whole lot of meat. Delicious, delicious, makes meals easy. These are the Mylar bags I've been talking about. They are more expensive here at Coastal than they are from Azure Standard, but they've been out of stock at Azure. I also saw here at Coastal, they have all these backyard beekeeper kits. And I cannot wait to be able to keep bees on our property when we get to our forever home. But again, this is looking like we are four years out from moving from this home and we will be traveling across the country. So part of me wonders, is it worth the investment now to go ahead and get this and start doing this and potentially get three years of honey out of a bee setup? Uh, I'm also going to talk to my neighbor because he is retiring his beekeeping setup, so I have to look into that. And then I'm still uh, trying to figure out what am I going to do about the garden watering because it is up on the hill from our house. Because we have irrigation down in our yard and I don't want to tamper with that or interfere with the irrigation in our yard, I had to move the garden farther away. So it's up the hill and I'm just trying to figure out the sprinklers and how I'm going to water it. Am I gonna put a little bit of temporary irrigation in there? So I'm looking at different hose adapters and exactly what they have available. I'm gonna look back at this video and plan my situation a little better, but I need something in the temporary and I really like these faucet timers. So I think in the future, I'm gonna get one of those. They have one that's a little bit less expensive. That one right there for $10.99. Um, so it's half the cost of the other one not as durable clearly but something to keep in mind this is what i got i'm trying to make sure that i stay ahead of the canning supplies shortage because the last two years we've had shortages for uh, canning supplies and then i grabbed these y's for the hose i'm gonna have one on the house the metal one on the house and then the plastic one's gonna go up in the garden area to put some sprinklers up there we had to get a lighter for starting our fire, our pine cone fire. Uh, that's gonna be really helpful. Then I got some onions to plant. We're gonna grow some onions this year. We're gonna attempt to. There's my other little sprinkler. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of that stuff from Coastal. I did pick up another tree because the deer ate all the trees that I planted for our angel babies. So I don't know if those trees are gonna rebound but I'm gonna do a much better job at protecting this tree. I got a pink lady apple tree because my family loves pink lady apples. It has lots of uh, growth, new growth on it. So it looks like it's gonna be a good tree. So I'm gonna get that planted at some point in the next couple weeks. Um, it was $12.99 for this tree. So I hope it gives us lots of apples in the next few years that we're living here. I don't know that it will, but it'll bless the next family that lives in this house. Um, so just little things, little steps like that that I'm taking to try to ensure that my family has some food growing on our property. Uh, we have nearly two acres, so I know that I can grow food. I just have to keep the deer at bay. So there's measures that I have to take. There's things that I have to do to keep things safe from the deer, and that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm going to run into the grocery store and pick up some produce and then head home. All right, so I ran into Fred Myers to grab some things, uh, and I'll just go over what I grabbed for the end of the month, my end of the month kind of top-up grocery haul. Um, back here, I grabbed the baby some more diapers. I do have cloth diapers if I run out, but I wanted to make sure I didn't run out because I don't want a cloth diaper anymore. I've done it with four other kids exclusively, but fifth kid, I need a break. <laughs> so I grabbed two of these. These were 99 cents a piece. Just grab those because we like to have an easy night, an easy meal night for Aaron if I'm out of the house that he can just throw some mac cheese and peas, frozen peas in there with that. Uh, two boxes of those and a bag of peas will feed my kids and keep them happy till I'm back home. So something easy for them. For produce, which is why I went and grabbed some food, I got two pineapples. They were two for $3, so we scooped up two of those. 
I grabbed some celery and some onions because I'm going to be making a big thing of pork broth and I wanted to be sure that I had enough to bulk up my stock for that. We grabbed some oranges because the kids love these easy peels and then these bananas were on the sale rack along with all of these peppers. So I went ahead and grabbed all of the individual bananas that they had. These I'm just going to um, cut up and cut off the bad parts but I'm going to dice these up really small and freeze them in little bags in the freezer so that I can have them for chili nights or whatever else because they're pretty much they're a little bit wrinkled and starting to be on their way out they've got some blemishes and things but I figure those were nice and cheap uh, 50 cents per bag for those and I can save those for another night to throw in some soup all right I'm always trying to stock my prepper pantry and set things aside for my family that we can use uh, you know, end of days supply, that kind of thing. These will last a very long time. Um, I bought some bulk beans and things like that, but I wanted a little bit of variety without having to buy a huge bag. And my black beans that I ordered from Azure Standard did not come in this month. So I grabbed another bag of black beans to replenish the beans that I just canned. And I grabbed a um, bag of black eyed peas. I'm not really sure why, but <laughs> We don't ever eat those, but I thought those would be fun. So end of days supply, some nice inexpensive bags of beans to go along with my two bags of wild rice. This is the non-GMO wild rice. And I thought that that would give us a little bit of variety. We have a lot of white rice, but it's nice to have this wild gourmet blend of rice um, just to have something interesting in our pantry. So, you know, if you get to a time when times are really, really hard, a variety in your food is helpful. So that's why I think it's nice just to offer a different variety of rice. I'm going to be cooking that in some kind of broth that we make from the animals that we harvest out in the wilderness, that type of thing. We do hunt, so we are hunters. Um, so we, I don't know that we'll ever run out of meat. I hope that we don't, but if we do, we've got beans on backup. Plus I'm just trying to get my family more used to eating beans as hard times are predicted ahead of us. So if you can just set aside a little bit of food every month or every time you go to the store, this didn't cost me more than a few dollars to get a few extra bags of beans and a few extra bags of rice to stick on my end of day supply. So also if you've noticed the cost of food in general is astronomical, but Anytime I go, I'm going to start checking the sale meat sections and see what meat that I can get to set aside. Uh, these chicken, these thin cut chicken breasts, we're probably going to eat these tonight for dinner because that's what I want for dinner tonight. So we're going to have those. And then um, these I got to cook up for my husband. We are going to cook those up and I'm going to throw them in his meal prep for his lunches. He is on a carnivore diet. So if I can find some different types of meat for him to try from time to time on that diet, then that gives him some variety. Uh, the kids and I don't have very many diet limitations. One of my kids has some allergies and intolerances, but the rest of us can eat all of this without a problem, without issue. I also grabbed a bag of Honeycrisp apples. It was $8 for a bag of apples just outrageous and these aren't even organic insane and then I grabbed a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes this was the last bag of potatoes that they had I assume they're out from Easter but I grabbed those I like to can up potatoes in jars um, and I'll link that video up here and also we just like to eat baked potatoes but the organic potatoes did not look in very good shape so I grabbed these and that's okay so that's everything I got for the end of the month. I'm going to put my total right there because I don't know it off the top of my head. i got to grab my receipt. I'm cooking up that lemon pepper chicken or that chicken with some lemon and pepper spices. I'm sauteing it up in the pan. And the grass mowers showed up today. This is my gardening crew. They take care of our grass for us. And also, these are the peppers that I picked up at the grocery store. I diced these small for chili, and I diced these into strips for fajita night. And then sometimes I forget to label my bags, but you do not want to forget to label your bags because once items are frozen, sometimes it's hard to tell what is in them. And I also wanted to show you guys a little bit of a garden update. These are my starts. They're a little bit leggy, but when I go to plant them, I'm going to plant the stems really deep down in the dirt. Hopeful that they will sprout some roots. 
I don't know what I planted here because I forgot to label them. So that'll be a nice, fun, exciting surprise. There's something coming up there, but I, I've double planted. I've planted tomato seeds and something else I forgot that took a long time to sprout. So we will see if tomatoes or what grows out of there. And then this is my little dark area. These are my sleeping plants. So I'm doing an 18 hour light cycle. And then the rest of the time they sleep underneath this dark area. Thought I would do a little bit of gardening update and show you guys, goodness, there's so many um, ground squirrel holes and things. We've had the people come and deal with them the last couple years. I don't know if we're gonna do that again this year, but let me show you what I got. Okay, so we've had some snow. I haven't planted anything down here, but so far the deer have been walking in my flower beds or in my garden. I can see all the deer things. So I've got to get deer protection up in here. Up in here, up in here. Uh-oh. What have I left back here? I left my lemon balm. Some seeds back here, cilantro. These must have dropped out. Oh no, corn. Okay, so we've got a, nothing obviously is growing because it snowed, but hopefully the seeds are nice and happy underneath of some dirt until they're ready to come up. We don't have any asparagus popping off yet. Oh, I just stepped on that almost. Here are, here's one bunch of rhubarb. They seem to be doing okay right now. Those. And we've got, oh look, there's one right there. That one's not doing too good. That one's not doing too great. And then there's one right there. So we've got garlic. Garlic is still growing happily. My little teeny, uh oh, I just stepped on my garlic. So I've got garlic all in here that I need to probably come through and rake back some of the pine needles. Yeah, small little garden. We're not going to have anything major, but we've got more property to have a bigger garden on, but I can't predict how long we're going to be here. I say maximum four years because that's when my husband retires, but it's potential to be sooner than that. So, um, we don't know how long we're going to be here, so I'm excited for the time when I can really dive in deep and put up a permanent fence and a permanent everything for my garden. So, if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know, have you started planning your garden yet? Have you gotten all of your canning supplies? You need to get that stuff in order, get your house in order, make sure that you are storing up some food and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.